And you got to know all the boatmen down here, you did? Ridge no. Ryan and all these guys. Oh, no, yeah, and his father before. Well, did his father a boatman, was he? Ridge. Yeah. Ridge. Oh, Ridge. No, Ridge. Ridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, who else was down here at the time? Who else had boats oh, down here? Patsy Kittrick had boats. Penny Fear. Uh, Chappie O'Malley's father. No, he wouldn't be Chappie's father, no, he'd be an uncle of him. They, yeah. they left Clear Ridge. They came from Clear Ryan to Ridge. Did uh, O'Donnell have a boat here? Which O'Donnell's? Yeah, Martin. Martin, Martin O'Donnell. Yeah, O'Donnell. yeah, but that was in later years. Later years, eh? Yeah. Who else was associated with boats on there? The Noise had a boat here. It was the Christine, it, was it? It was the Christine. Mm. She was belonged to Thomas Lipton. She was built for him. Who was? Lipton, big. She was for the Thames originally. Oh, is that right? So it came yeah. over from England, yeah? Eh? Okay. It was made for Thomas Lipton. Those are place on Lipton the grocers, is it? Or the tea, or no, both? No, Lipton's the tea. The tea, okay, mm -hmm. right, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so He was a Sir Thomas Lipton. Mm. Has the key changed much in your time now? Uh, yes, it's badly silted up. There was a, a dredger here when I was young. What was the name of the dredger? I don't know the last one that was here, but the very first one was called the Sissy Puss. Sissy Puss. Yeah, yeah. And who, who was the skipper on that? I don't know. I think Mikey Hester worked on it. I have that yeah. feeling that he worked as a deckhand, but the, 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 she was kept up there in that rotten dock. She was here all the nice, time, yeah. Yeah, they owned it to their dockers. But there was a lot of boats. I seen seven boats, coasters, tied up with this key working together. And there was a strike. The dockers, the wind, they were, they were short, there was two coal boats in. Two, what do you call boats? Two timber boats. There was a fertiliser boat or two. And there was a third one. And they, could, they hadn't enough dockers to into them. They all seemed to come the one week. And why was there a strike? Because they went into the labour exchange, Malloy's, and got a load of young fellas that was on the dole out. Oh, OK. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, the lads didn't want that? They went to a strike. They wouldn't let them walk into the boats. And did they win? I think they did. Yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. That would have been in the in the 50s. Do you remember that yourself, yeah? Oh, I do. You do, yeah. I, do. I, can, I can remember back to 1937. Oh, my God. And... 1947. Yeah. Sorry, I was born in 1944, so yeah. I've just gone 70. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And uh, physically, has it changed much? The key has it gone downhill. It has. Probably. It has gone downhill. Gone downhill. Yeah. Well, there more there's a lot of activity here mm. between the boats and the mill and everything. There's always lorries coming up and down the road, and there's, there was flour going all over the country from that, and and other mill. And they had three or four lorries themselves. Mm. They had one small one and three big ones. Bobby Cotton used to drive on. Robert Gavin drove another one for a while. And Jackie Giblin up the road here drove for a little while. Another man from, what do you call them, Bar uh, what was his name? Jerry McDonough. He drove them for a good number of years. Jerry from Kilmina, is it? Yeah, from Berley Hill. Berley Hill, yeah. yeah. And there and were. Alf, Alf McMahon. Yeah. Alf Fitzell, actually. Alf Not what? McMahon. Alf Fitzell. Never I'll tell it. you who he was now. His daughter was married to old Jack Dipper in Westport, where all these Dippers come from. I remember Jack. You do? He was a politician. A boxer too. A politician, wasn't he? Yeah. Councillor, was he a councillor? Well, he may have been, but I don't remember him being a councillor. thought he was a councillor. Yeah. Dan O'Brien was the famous councillor here at the Quay. Did you know him? I did. I did. And what was he like? A great character. Was he, yeah? Yeah. And a well-spoken man. Mm. I believe Frank... He, Frank. He, he got the first... Telephone box at the key. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Outside the door. There's no public <laughs> telephone at the key. I hear Frank Hall used to talk to him, you see. He used to he interviewed him. <laughs> it yeah. him. Dan, Dan was a good one on the council. I'd say it was a couple of terms, honey. Yeah. If he got the one to go and he was nearly guaranteed it, the telephone box. Yeah. He got on the council so he did the box from me. Did you ever go into Peggy Brown's pub? No, I did loads and loads of times. What was that like? Oh, stop. A big side of bacon on the top of the counter. A bit of groceries. All the drink you wanted. No, I never drank in my life. I'm a teetotaler. But my father went in there every Friday night. And when I was going to school, I milked a cow morning and evening for 20 Kings Farm over here. Uh -huh. And uh, brought water into them. There was no water in any houses running water that time. None at all. Everyone had to bring water from the well. 
There was two wells in Dorkins Field. Public? Yeah, no, there were pumps actually. There was two okay, pumps. Two pumps there, okay. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't have been Dorkins, I think it was O'Malley's. Mm. But Dorkins bought it, I think, after. It was next to where James Gannon. Do you know where your man built the house there, uh, the doctor? Yeah, there we the are. The hip, hip doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek Bennett. Yeah.